My name is Elaine Rachtenga Utachtekak. Rachtenga Elaine means came back. When my family were in Siberia, we had reindeer herders and coastal herders. My clan is Kiwagami. Yeah, I grew up in Sibunga. I was born and raised in Sibunga. And, uh, and my grandparents were in the same house when I was a little girl before we moved to our own place. My grandma always had relatives that come from Gamble and they wanted to eat her food. And they come and they tell stories I'd be playing. And uh, I'm glad. Same Gamble and Sibunga. Gamble is even rougher. Uh, the current is much stronger there. And as well in Sibunga too. People who hunt these, uh, the food and the clothing material, to me to say it nowadays, is they give their life to the community to go out and bring home food and the material. Because in the springtime, that's the, uh, even though we have global warming, there's still chunks of ice. Uh, sometimes when the ice flow is too close to the uh, inland, there's no way they can go out to the where the current is, where the game is. And there's no way they can go out past that ice flow. Finally, when there's an opening where they can go out, uh, the game is too far out. Sometimes that's what ha what happened for the past two years. That's why people were sending food, first time emergency food, because hunting was poor and ivory was rare and gut was rare. I don't make the adult size raincoats. I hardly watched my grandma make them. She did make them, but maybe when I was fairly young. I never really watched her clean them. And when I, by the time I was aware of things, she was mostly doing um, bird skin. My mother was, she was making dolls and she was making dolls a lot, and then she uses uh, either bearded seal or walrus gut for raincoats. She mostly clothed her lady dolls with formal lady parka, and I got curious, and and she didn't want to teach me in the beginning, but I sneak and I really got interested doing stitches. When I first tried one stitch, I felt like holding a tissue paper and trying to sew on tissue paper. My um, stitch was so big, much bigger than my mom, so I undo it and left it like she wouldn't know. But she always knew. When she find out I do that, she had me start making baskets or let me do one stitch, make sure I watch and have me do one stitch from one stitch, two stitch, only on the sleeves of the dolls. Now I know because she could put the, the doll's arms are down. <laughs> but from sleeves, she let me start. And that, and then that's how I began. I'm I mostly make dolls and gut baskets. Yeah, this week uh, I taught the students how to clean and scrape the intestine. The outside skin is taken out. Mary reminded me that uh, 
makluk is soft enough that we stikhta. Stikhta means use our fingers to take out the outer layer. When they do that, uh, take out all the outer skin of the intestine. That way, using their fingers, you use a certain way you take them out. And then you cook that part and you eat that. You Then you turn it inside out and you use a scraper to clean the inside because the inside is harder. It's not as... Uh, it's more creamy inside. You have to use a scraper to clean the inside. Wowers is much thicker. When we're cleaning wowers, we use a scraper. Uh, bearded seal, like I said, you could use your fingers to take out the outer layer where it's... Uh, you could rest and take that outer layer and use a scraper to clean the inside. But walrus is much tougher. You can't do that with your fingers. You can use a scraper to clean it outside and then inside. Two ways of drying uh, gut. Um, one is dried in winter, and the other one is dried in the warmer time of the year. Uh, the one that's dried, um, winter bleach is white, and the raincoat type, warm dried, it's warm dried in the warmer time of the year. Uh, winter bleach is more like uh, the material is like uh, windbreaker type. You don't use that when it. You don't use winter bleach uh, regalia when it's wet. They use a uh, uh, for a ceremonial with a like a formal well with a crusted ocklet curls design and they use that type for men and women. Only women have another different way to make that uh, formal well with a uh, strip of uh, fur that's um, wolverine uh, with a red leather on top and red leather on the bottom. And then each clan makes a different style. And that's called tsuk in my language. I am happy even though <coughs> those little uh, gut that we have, who, whoever donated them, I'm happy. It worked out, even though they're small ones, because uh, our people, wherever we are, uh, they, uh, if people want to learn, they substitute what they do, what do they have, or what they don't have. I, I feel that it is a success. I seen that students. They tried real hard. They they are very impressive. They put their hearts to it. And I feel there's a good benefits that they get out. Wherever you come from, whatever you do, however you make your clothing, that's where you are from, and that's how your ancestors make them. And they are right wherever they are.